Hey, congratulations on your recent publication in Common Chemistry. Thanks very much. What was the most significant aspect of your work? Well, self-healing polymers have come to the sort of forefront of polymer science recently over the last decade. And I guess the most significant aspect of our work is that we were trying to be the first to develop self-healing polymers that are prepared via living radical polymerization techniques that bring around all the benefits of living radical chemistry with self-healing chemistry and open up open up the uh, doors to many other industries that make polymers by these techniques. So what was the reason for making self-healing polymers? Well, the pipe dream is that one day we'll have materials in, in all sorts of applications, in, in planes, auto, uh, automotive industries, to paints and coatings. If they crack um, or if they're damaged in any way, they can repair themselves and obviously that will reduce production costs vastly and uh, prevent people having to pay money to to heal to heal their products. So I think like I say the gap in the market was that so far all publications have been focused on self-healing polymer composites and uh, large macular crosslink networks. And so that's why we developed the first that are made by living radical polymerization. So what do you think the impact of the people will be? Uh, hopefully very significant and but like I say, I, we, we were hoping that this would be the cornerstone. Uh, like I say, we have self-healing composites, we have self-healing macromet the cross network. So hopefully this will be the first paper uh, and set the cornerstone for people that want to prepare self-healing polymers via, via living radical techniques. So we hope that this will have a huge impact on, on the, the later future chemistry. Very good. Uh, so here we are in Macro 2010. Uh, what's your favourite part of the conference so far? Uh, the favourite part of the conference has just been meeting polymer chemists from all around the world. At other meetings, it's often difficult to find people and meet people and talk to people. Um, so from, from a PhD student's point of view, looking at the uh, future career aspect, the, the best part of this conference for me is that uh, world-renowned polymer chemists are here at your doorstep and at your disposal to talk to. And I think that's been, been a fantastic part of this conference. Very good. Uh, what's your favourite thing about polymer chemistry the journal? Polymer chemistry in the journal. It's just new and exciting, um, and, and it's nice to see the RSC engage people in, in, in polymer chemistry. It's a hard-hitting title. It's a simple title, and it, it, it gets the message across. And, and its impact already has been significant, which I think is testament to the fact that some of the names that are published in, in this journal, I think it will go places within a few years. Thanks very much. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.